This is a prayer for all of those who struggle with the orphan heart, the old nature, the nature of the flesh, the nature that is dead, that has been buried, that has been crucified with Christ Jesus. At times the orphan heart may manifest in many different ways and facets of life. The Bible says that you have been bought and purchased at a price. You have the seal of the Holy Spirit, the deposit of the God of love. The seal stands for the King's seal. It stands for the marking of the love of God. You have been sealed with the promise of the Holy Spirit, the spirit of holiness. You are not an orphan. You are not abandoned. Jesus says in John 14, verses 15 and on, If you love me, keep my commands, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to help you and to be with you forever. The Spirit of Truth The world cannot accept Him because it neither sees Him nor knows Him. But you know Him for He lives with you and will be in you. I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. The Bible says that you are not an orphan. You are not left behind. Many people struggle with the orphan heart or the orphan spirit. The orphan spirit may manifest in many different ways. It may manifest in pride, religious works, a spirit of self-righteousness, trying to earn merits and credits before God. There was a time in my life where I felt like I was an orphan. I felt like I was not good enough. I felt like I did not do enough or I missed the mark constantly until I realized the love of the Father and the power of the finished work of the cross. You do not need to perform. You do not need to earn. The Bible says that we receive through faith by the grace of God. You see, salvation is not earned. You see, adoption is not earned. You have been adopted by the Holy Spirit. You have been adopted by the Father of lights. He loves you. And even now, He breaks off the orphan spirit from your mind, your heart, your soul, all the wounds, all the traumas, all the feelings of feeling rejected, abandoned, misdiagnosed, misunderstood, judged, condemned. You see, many times we can become proud and feel self-righteous when the orphan spirit is manifested. Do you feel like an orphan? Or are you a secure child of God? Here are some common characteristics of the orphan spirit. You constantly feel like the victim. You constantly feel rejected from people. There is an abandonment issue. You were abandoned as a child. You felt like your parents were not around with you and for you. These are all lies from the pit of hell. That may be true and that may have happened in your life, but I will tell you that God our Father, He is not like man. God our Father, He is not like us, but He has always been with us. He has never left you and He will not leave you for He has filled you with the very presence and essence of God. People who move in an orphan spirit many times are workaholics. They feel a sense of security and their identity when they are busy, when they are active. 
they find their identity in their works rather than the Bible, the Word of God. They find their security in who is around them, in the things that they have and obtain. That is the orphan spirit, my friend. You do not need to be codependent to these earthly things. We must be dependent on Christ alone. Many people who struggle with the orphan spirit feel insecure. Have you ever felt afraid, overstressed, overburdened, overworried? Do not fear. Jesus is here. Do not fear or be insecure. Your security is in Christ Jesus alone. We must be secure in the perfect, unconditional love of God in our lives. Do you believe it? Do you receive it? Let this truth go deep down on the most inward beings of your heart, of your soul. Let this truth break down and apart and obliterate every single lie, every single memory, every single trauma that you may have experienced. He loves you. God loves you. The Father loves you. He favors you. He adores you. He is jealous, jealous for you. Hallelujah. You are not an orphan. There may be times you feel alone. You feel unloved. You feel like he is far away. But that is a lie. Your feelings are not the truth. He's with you. I pray now that the presence of our Father will manifest and will be made strong and will become so real and tangible. Now, in Jesus' name, now, I break every spirit of rejection. I break every spirit of abandonment. All loneliness. Do you struggle with loneliness? Do you feel alone at times? This will become an open door for depression and the spirit of death. And even for suicidal thoughts and tendencies. I break that now in Jesus' name. And I declare that you are free. Who the sun sets free is free indeed. His truth will set you free. Receive it. Be free. Breathe it in. Breathe in the spirit of adoption. He loves you. He is with you. He is for you. A few other characteristics of the orphan heart is codependency and control. People who struggle and deal with the orphan spirit will many times control to have things their way. It is a sense and a type of self-protection. Are you defensive? Do you need to defend yourself? Do you have a tendency to speak up for yourself, to fend for yourself? Let your hands down. Let your arms go. Let the Father lead you. You can trust Him. I know it's hard for you to trust in people. I know it's hard for you to trust in the goodness of humanity. Without Jesus, we are a dying world. But in Christ, there is hope. Believe in the Word of God. The Bible says, Cursed is the one who trusts in man, but blessed is the one who trusts in God. My friends, we can learn to love, and we can learn to put our hope, confidence, and trust, not in man, and not in the carnalities of man, but in the Spirit of God that lives and dwells amongst us. Do you contend against people? Do you continue to try to defend yourself? He is your defender. People who deal with the orphan spirit will many times have a lack of self-esteem. There is confusion in their identity. They want praise, affirmation, esteem, and comfort from others rather than God the Father. My friends, every idol will come falling down. Every habit, ritual, 
addiction, pattern, system, and mindset that is not in the truth of God's love for you is destroyed now. The orphans have been bought at a price. He has adopted you by the spirit of adoption. The Bible says, Abba, Father, no longer are you a slave. Are you enslaved to the flesh or to fear? But now you are born again by the spirit of adoption. Be secure. You are no longer an orphan, but by the love and by the grace of God, you are a child of heaven forever. Hallelujah.